Okay, so <clears throat> we talked about the ICT in agricultural industry. And uh, under that, we have talked about how it is being used for the farming, the animal farming, as well as in the fishery industries. All right, so this is the video that you have that you are going to watch regarding that. So it will show you some robotics and some uh, uh, pictures that we saw. And the video is here, all right? Uh, the things that we uh, saw in the presentation, the, the video of them is over here right so let's uh, see like it's 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 a little bit long so i'm going to uh, skip in some of the places but there are some interesting things to see so you can uh, you will be able to see that right okay here we go So this is the weed remover we talked about. See how it is functioning. It's fully solar powered. Yeah, so that is about the weed remover. And this is about a small robot which uh, makes the land before the cultivation, right? So it's just a model, but still uh, it shows how the way that they are going to make the bigger one. <laughs> This is about the uh, cropping and harvesting. So we saw this in the picture. So this is how the robot is plucking the tomatoes. And it is uh, smart enough to choose the uh, red color one out of green color one. Like
So you can see uh, it is being programmed to uh, do the harvesting part yeah. even at night, right? So uh, bye, Dad. Bye, Susu. So the uh, the advantage is like uh, it can be occupied all twenty four seven, right? Unlike a person, right? So it will be very efficient. And uh, now this particular robot arm is plucking the apple, right? So it's it's different from the previous one. People, so it is about the uh, robotics, which is uh, using for the uh, cropping and harvesting part, right? So uh, that's how the things can take place in agriculture, right? And uh, yeah, this this particular video is regarding the milk harvesting in farming. Oh, come on! So, I'm doing it really, really, really though. Big things. Today we're gonna to be milking cows in our brand new. Yeah, it's it's again it's a little bit lengthier video, so uh, I'm going to show you the most specific things that uh, you are going to like you need to uh, focus on, right? So the equipment that you can see behind this person is the one which is uh, using to do the milk harvesting, right? So from the uh, cow's breasts. Right, so uh, let's see how he is doing this, right? The parlor, we're just gonna start by taking the milk claws off the wash trays and putting the milk line into the milk tank. So this is the milk line right here. It's currently on the wash line and we're gonna switch it to going into the bulk tank. Show you the tank uh, that they are collecting all these milk. They they collect it in you know, one particular place, like we did, uh, like we discussed in the presentation that we saw last week. So before they uh, fix that uh, particular machinery part, not actually the, it's 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 a suction, right? So the uh, farmer clean the breast of the cows, right? So now.
this is the so this is the way uh, it sucks out the uh, the milk from the cow right so finally it will be gathered in a very big tank as they shown over here this is the milk pump right here. It doesn't always pump 100% of the milk to the tank. So when we're done milking, we just come down here, press this switch, and it pumps the rest of the uh, milk from the receiver jar here into the milk tank. And then the last thing is blowing the lines with air. This is just gonna make sure all the lines are empty of milk and that it goes all to the milk tank. Now we're gonna take the milk filter out. And then we just put in a new milk filter. So this filter gets changed in between every single milking. Okay. And, uh... <clears throat> And this is regarding the fisheries. And you remember we talked about hey everyone. the- uh, I am Alexander. I am a full stack developer and software. What's up guys? Uh, and you can remember we talked about some censoring part uh, using sonar waves, right? So to look into the river or look into the uh, particular water resource, right? So, here, but they are like uh, this is an this is an output of that particular machine, right? So they have fixed it to the uh, uh, motor boat, and they are like uh, exploring under the water, right? So I'll show you some particular places. Hi, it's Tim Little. Welcome back to Taxel Bassin. Today we are talking about electronics. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna idle around. I'm gonna cover what you need to look for, what, how to interpret what you're seeing to maximize your fishing and put more fish in the boat. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna idle around. I'm gonna cover uh, a few specifics, just some real general specifics on electronics. We'll idle around, we'll look at the picture and I'll tell you what we're looking at. All right guys, let me kind of paint the picture of the situation we're in. We're out on a, on a mud flat, we're about 30 yards off of a, a sheer rock wall. Uh, so here, uh, as he as he explains, you can hear like there are some mud slugs. This is the this is the uh, ground of the uh, like under the water, right? So later he will uh, explain this. These kind of curves are going to be the fish gathering around. Uh, fairly flat out here. This is a known big fish spot here on Clear Lake. Lots of bait fish, bait fish activity, shad, uh, bluegill, crappie, and lots, lots and lots and lots of giant largemouth. We get lots of catfish here too, but we're gonna idle through here and I'm gonna kind of show you guys uh, what, the, what the units, what it's showing me and uh, cover just a few details about these, these new units. You know, a lot of times, we go out and we, we get nice stuff and we don't really know how to use it. And, and units these days, especially technology, computers these days are so much more advanced than uh, even just a few years ago. And even the entry level units are so much better than, than we had five, 10, 15 years ago. Uh, it can be a little overwhelming. So the first thing you need to understand about your unit, it shoots a pulse down to the bottom and bounces back up. That is your reading. The sonar cone, understand. The next thing, you are looking for arches. Arches? Yeah, people uh, hear this carefully, what's happened with the arches. Or lines. An arch is when that fish has come and gone through that sonar ping, through that cone. 
a line means it is staying there and the fish is directly underneath you. That really comes into play when you're up front and you're vertical fishing on your trolling motor. You're not covering a lot of distance. You're kind of staying in one spot. That line is fish directly below you. Right, so you can have a rough idea how this uh, equipment works. So it like with the help of the sound and the sonars, they will uh, create some pictures on the screen. So with some experience, with some knowledge about that, you will be able to recognize where the fishers are going around and where they are not. Okay, is that clear everyone? All right, so let's go to the, uh, the next topic, which is ICT and manufacturing. All right, so ICT in manufacturing industry and business. So like when it comes to the manufacturing industry, early days, the manufacturing heavily based on the human labor, right? Or some particular human. But nowadays, most of the human-based work are being uh, what embedded into a robots or like robotics are being uh, involved. So people will lose their jobs while the uh, robo arms or like the uh, some particular robo equipments they will get the chance, right? So in the society hand of view. Losing a job is not a very good thing to happen, right? But uh, with the uh, increase or like the uh, with the uh, improvement of the technology, it happens as well as sometimes it uh, creates comparatively uh, more jobs, right? Uh, like operate in and robo arm or like maintain and robo arm kind of things, but not as much as that they can operate when they work manually. Right, and again, uh, using robo arms, there are many things that is happening, right? So like uh, computer manufacturing, if you have a uh, visit to the uh, uh, like uh, other things like the, like the, manuf like the manuf manufacturers like Evis, right? There are, there are factories in the uh, Hambantota area. Right, so if you could visit there, we have, I have done some field trip to that. You can see these things happens really, right? And uh, packaging, I'll show you a very nice video how the packaging is happening, uh, as well as like uh, car production, we are going to see a one today, right? And labeling, filling the bottles, those can be done easily with the help of robotics. Right, and again, when it comes to the uh, organization uh, point of view, uh, they can uh, use these kind of tools to reduce some costs like video conferencing. So uh, the cost will be saved since no one is going to arrive at the house. And again, uh, uh, when the people are there, when the people are located at different geographical locations, right? So they will be able to get together like they meet everyone on a one single place, then uh, you can do the discussion or uh, the requirements to be fulfilled, right? And human resources management, like we have talked about this for the very first example in data information, uh, uh, under the data information topic. So like uh, fingerprint and payroll systems, and some uh, human resource information systems will allow to an organization to manage their employees in an effective manner, right? So they can easily access uh, like what kind of a, uh, or like in what, under what category this particular employee can be categorized and what are the skills of him. So what are the improvements that he or she has made over the period of time? And when they are going to give a particular opportunity or a particular promotion, 
then these things can be considered easily. Uh, e-banking system. I'll show you an e-banking system as well, right? Uh, some login and uh, how you are going to log into these things, right? So e-banking system will allow you to do many different things, right? So you can uh, uh, transfer the money, you can, uh, through the e-banking system, you will be able to uh, manage the other details regarding a, a particular account. You can uh, contact the manager in a direct manner, right? You can write to a manager, right? So various kind of things are there, right? So, uh, uh, and again, for like regarding an opening account, uh, opening an, uh, a speed draft or a, a OD interest, like there are many different uh, services that it can give to you. And as always, it helps you to pay the bills again online, right? So there are many with the uh, e-banking systems. And again, online shopping, where the people are being caught for many uh, unwanted things when it comes to the uh, shopping. It's so like when it comes to the online shopping, people won't be able to visit a particular place physically, right? And they don't need to spend time on choosing and comparing. So you can do it easily uh, through the system, right? And uh, so it is open 24 hours. Right, so you can choose many different, uh, you can choose a product from many different uh, suppliers. You can compare those things. Right? Those kind of uh, uh, things will be there regarding online sh shopping, all right. Okay, so before we come to the ICT in transport, let's uh, have a little note about this, right? So have the heading ICT in, manufacturing and industry businesses. That is going to be the heading or the subheading according to the way you are going to write. People, you can hear me clearly, right? Uh, Rison, it's there on the board, on the screen. It is ICT in manufacturing industry and businesses. Are we done with the heading? Yes, it better you uh, copy these things down people. Let me know when you're done people.
Okay. So here we go. So go to the next point and say, technology is used in manufacturing as follows. So technology is used in manufacturing as follows. Then we can uh, write down the example. Okay, technology is used in manufacturing as follows. Then, yeah. You can write the topics of these uh, pictures. Computer manufacturing, manufacturing of packaging materials, packaging, car productions, labeling, filling bottles, you can write this as the examples. So write only the uh, names of the pictures people. So I'll highlight those things for you. Okay, sir. Right, okay. One is okay. How about others? No, sir. Anyone who is still writing? Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Keep up. Keep it up.
Okay, anyone who is still writing? All right, so let's move forward. Yeah, now, yeah, as the next topic, uh, no, not the next topic, actually, the next, next point. Yeah, write this point. And at the below, continue the continue to write the use of robots, right? As your next point. Okay, one is done. How about others? Okay, anyone who is still writing? All right, so let's move forward. So as the next point, you can say video conferencing. We'll write it in very short way about the video conferencing.
uh, Rison, uh, we wrote about these things, right? Like use of robots, you have uh, mentioned about 24 hour services, never get tired, those kind of things, right? So then after, you can write about the video conferencing as the next point. No, no, we, we have uh, we have wrote about that Rison, earlier, right? Isira, it's, it's, it's a different point to that. It's a different point, not under, under the use of robotics. Video conference is a different, different point. The same topic under the uh, ICT application of this business and other, all these things, the main topic, it will be a main point. All right, so the people who are done with video conferencing, you can go with human resource management.
Okay, one is done. How about others? Anyone who is still writing? Okay, moving forward. E banking systems. Let's go with these things. List those things now.
Okay, one is done. How about others? Okay, anyone who is still writing? All right, so moving forward, the final one, online shopping. So copy this down and we'll write some advantages.
Okay, one is done. How about others? Okay. Anyone who is still writing? Okay, so we'll move forward. Yeah, before we move to the transport, let's see what is there. Yes, now the first video is about how to create, like how they are manufacturing. What's up? Hi, Jira. We brought you here today to. So this is pretty interesting. Just see other things are happening. Now, all these things are happening with the help of RoboArms people. So, like, no man is involved until, right?
So now you can see like uh, how the robotics are involving with these things. Like uh, this is the entire flow where they made the mugs, right? So uh, it's very few number of people that we can see on the flow, right? So people, uh, it's it's a little bit lengthy, so you can find the uh, video and uh, watch it through the uh, YouTube, right? I'll send you the link. And uh, this is another interesting video, which where they uh, use this robotics. So how do you Actually. find your ideal clients between eight billion people? Introducing Lucia.
Okay, I think you had a good idea about how the packaging is happening, right? So likewise, the opportunities are endless when it comes to the uh, ICT, right? Okay, so um, that is regarding the uh, ICT in uh, manufacturing as well as in business, right? So I'll show you one regarding the uh, e-banking within a while. So before that, let's go for the ICT in transport, right? So when it comes to the ICT in transport, it's a very few things that we have to uh, talk about. One thing is the security provided by the CCTVs, closed circuit uh, uh, TVs, right? So we can uh, do the surveillance and uh, we can go through the things, uh, uh, the recordings, and we can see whether the whether any uh, illegal activities are happening around, right? So we can uh, find out how the way the things are happened, as well as the traffic light control systems, which can be uh, automated. And uh, like when it comes to the much advanced places, uh, we can automate the traffic lights to respond according to the traffic, right? Not just uh, uh, like lighting up and uh, lighting off, it's just uh, sense the particular traffic then it, the traffic lighting system is changing according to the environment. And uh, the third example is the parking identification placards, right? So where they can uh, work with all these sensors. I think uh, some of you may have uh, had the experience uh, when you are entering to some particular uh, like super malls and all these things, right? So they will, like, without the man, you have to uh, uh, respond to a particular booth and uh, the booth will uh, uh, issue you a particular card, right? And according to that card, you are going to uh, respond. And then uh, at the gate, you can do the payments, right? Now, specifically when it comes to the payment, there will be a particular person to collect the payments. But when it comes to the advanced part, uh, you will be given the chance to pay from, uh, like pay using an electronic method, right? So those are the way that we can uh, apply the ICT to the transportation, right? So uh, let's mention about it, right? So have the head in ICT in transport. Right, and you can uh, 
go with these things. Right, so it's better you uh, write down the explanation. Okay, one is done. How about others? All right, I'm moving slowly to the next one, the traffic light control system. And you don't need to uh, write the explanation, people, because you know what his traffic light control system is, right? Right. Anyone who is still writing? Okay, moving forward. Yeah, on this, it's better you uh, mention some of the things. Yeah, it's better you uh, take the entire process people.
Okay, so people, if you are done, you can leave the session just for today. So I'm going to end it after you taking down this thing. So I will be there until all you are leaving, right? So by next week, we'll uh, see how the transportation uh, acts, right? And then uh, we'll go through the things, right? Right, okay, thank you very much, everyone. So you can do this and then you can leave the session. So have a very nice day, people. I'll see you all next week for the very same time.